And he'll throw on the first play to Isaiah Bond. And Bond is able to slip through. Second down three. And McClellan pressured in the backfield. And this is what Middle can do. They will bring pressure. So third and seven now for Jalen Milrow. Pressure coming again. Milrow goes to the out route. That's caught for a first down by Bond. And, it and now a chance to run it. And that's McClellan straight ahead. And on second and six, they'll do it again. Behind a huge offensive line. And a hole made to the outside by McClellan, who finally gets rest. A set of downs again for Alabama. Bad snap. Milrow scoops it up. And he's trying to make something out of nothing. They'll add Lamb for the quarterback in his second start. And he is in. Touchdown, Alabama. Bro, probably the best athlete on the field. Takes a ground ball and says, you know what? I'm going to call my own number here and just run around everybody. Last quarterback I saw do things like that going into at the right time that the concept is coming open. Roy Dell Williams is now in a tailback. Petition will continue. We're now second of five. And that one's complete. Bigger dudes than you up front. <laughs> do they ever? Roy Dell Williams. For those uh -huh. big boys, it's the opposite. <laughs> a little dance. But six now for Milrow and company. Pressure coming. And he gets rid of it to one of those many tight ends. CJ Dupree transferred from Maryland. Team the defenders. So if you know why the play is called, who you're trying to affect, you can get your guy inconsistent with of it yeah, where his feet are. When they're in rhythm, platform, look at that. Feet were aligned. For that completion to Jermaine Burton. And reached for and caught. And a little shake by Kobe Prentice. Here's the story. He's a guy who has taken a huge step this fall camp. McClellan on the handoff. Big fella's trying to clear some space, and McClellan can only crawl forward for a yard. You were right, these guys, but out to lunch, yeah, that's how you would describe it. Uh, third and goal, bounce to the outside, and McClellan splashes in. Just great vision by Jace McClellan. Sticks his head down there, nothing there, keeps his feet alive. Finds that team. And Tua, here's a handoff to Jace McClellan, and that will likely be one. Third and short. And a little bit of pressure in the backfield. But Played a group of five team, and they come and do something that's not them. Mm -hmm. They get pressure on the cornerback, and it's a sack. For was on, four-man slide to the left. He's got to come up. Ricky, Ricky, that linebacker's walked up and protect himself. And if you miss, the linebacker said, Benson, he's big, he's fast, number one Juco receiver out of high school. He's the target right here. No rolling without the sound of his voice. Which I think the opposite of you, Tom. Yeah, many do. <laughs> many do. No game. Very efficient. Haven't seen that explosive play downfield yet. Little issue with the snap, and then he whips it to the perimeter. Because at times they were a little sloppy maybe last year. Pocket holds. He's got all day. And a little bit low and incomplete. It leaves second and ten. That one's caught for a gain of four by Prentice. Taking that next step yet, but pressure coming, and Melrose can't escape. Being we just had a lead change in the battle with the Carolinas, also number one Georgia in action. You got what you just wanted from Bama. Alabama, 3:36 to play in a half. Milrow looking at an option pitch and said, try to dump it, and it's batted away. And a great play. Yeah, I think there's reason to that, right? I think it's a little bit of a perfect storm. And second and ten, Milrow with the keeper, and he gets hog tied in, as well as mix some stuff in for Jalen Milrow. And here's some of that. Milrow takes off, and he's in for his second rushing touchdown of the night. Here's two tight ends. One's going to go down. One's going to loop around. Leave that defensive end for Jalen Milrow and his athleticism. You're seeing more creative runs out of 12 personnel. You're seeing more downs in the same game two years ago. Bryce against Tennessee. Milrow has all day. Now he's going to unload Z. Got a man. Touchdown. Isaiah Bond in Alabama. What I love about this play, Isaiah Bond's going to attack and go deep, and Jalen Milrow has to worry about that safety. As soon as he gets the snap, he checks the safety. 
to make sure he stays low. Looks left, stays low, gets his eyes on Isaiah Bond. This is what I love. He doesn't throw it on a line. He throws it across the field. Allow your fast receiver. And Roydell Williams is able to make corrections or talk about some things at halftime and then go out there and execute. And a first down run. Those that aren't designed can be dangerous. It'll brought pressure. Milrow trying to get out of it. To change some of those more frequently. A passing touchdown and two rushing touchdowns for Milrow in the first half. They'll keep it on the ground here. It's only the fourth time an Alabama player has had it. Ja'Cory Brooks in the game. He's in the slot, number seven. Did not see him in the first half. He's going deep. Milrow's going to him. They'll push off and incomplete. Getting a good look on third and ten. Milrow, a little bit of pressure, and then he takes off running. They had a spy on him. He got put on his back, and Milrow takes it. To it's a bad spy. Milrow into coverage and incomplete. Because that's what happens. A little juke in the backfield. Miller had big runs every scrimmage they played. Milrow going deep again. And caught. Touchdown, Jermaine Burton. 48 yards. Kool Aid took a shot at the tail end. Here's a little toss sweep. Isaiah Bond in space. Let's hope they just spat that up and he's okay. Uh, lob on second and five. It's caught. Touchdown. To run right down the middle past the field safety. And Milro did a great job of using touch, putting that Notre then injured and didn't return until the bowl game against South Carolina. So there are definite benefits. So we talked a lot about how Tommy Reese has brought at the helm, but you mentioned it. Tommy can kind of translate some of those things to expedite the learning process for Buckner, and that's what he's done. Hands it off to Justice Haynes, the fresh. But that's where Buckner, knowing Tommy so well, can try to go deep, help, you know, translate kind of production out of the quarterback position. Doesn't need to be four or five thousand with this offense this year. I think the fascinating question going eight Tyler Buckner quarterback dropped the snap recovered a fire and that's good for a first down Well, when I went back I black Buckner kind of goes sidearm a little bit to get it out to Isaiah Bach and he can stretch the field Makes you really dangerous out of that 12 personnel one running back two tight ends CJ Dupree is in there his high school ball at Bishop School in San Diego he was injured most of his sophomore year, so he barely played. What a season. COVID got in the way of that. He was an Under Armour All-American, but kind of limited in terms of his playing time. And, of course, last year at Notre Dame, injured for a playing time. You mentioned his high school background. Very valuable reps as he takes a shot here deep. Into the end zone and incomplete. It's Robbie Oots behind Dupree, and they can create a lot of space on the left side. For Justice Haynes, and he does his own. old in June. He drew the ire of all of his home state fans when he had also kind of loved. They did a curtain call for the starting offensive line there. You see that? Buckner to the outside and to the end zone. In the Gator Bowl last year, Notre Dame beat South Carolina. I mean, he's not he's not Jalen Milrow, but he's got Texas coming to town. Ty Simpson now in a quarterback for Bama. And he hands it off on first down to one of the things Tommy Reese mentioned quite a bit, but he's got every ounce of talent that you would want at the quarterback position. Coach at UT Martin since 2006, longest tenured head coach in the Ohio Valley. They went to Athens today. Five for Ty Simpson and Bama. And Simpson will pull it, keep it himself. And he's able to pick up a first down. Uh, first and goal. Simpson to the slant. It is caught. A take. Simpson trying to sneak it, and they move the entire pile into the end zone. Wrapped up. Made history tonight. They'll try to run it a little bit. 